from the 24-yard line. Over the middle, Tony juggles, and it's picked by Jelani Tavai. And now Tavai throws it away. What is he doing? Out of you know, you you just you're gonna. He's not going to trust him anymore. He's just, it's coming down to a critical situation, and that's where the ball has to go because he's open. But I don't trust him. I'm losing trust. This picture say it all. Rough week for Kadarius Tony. Second pick that Mahomes has thrown today, although obviously that one pretty unfair when you're looking at the overall line and a perfect throw. Okay, so that was a clip of Kadarius Tony dropping another pass that led to a turnover. And you could see the disgust on Patrick Mahomes' face on the sidelines. This isn't anything new with Kadarius Tony this season as 2023 has been an awful campaign for the wide receiver. In week one against the Detroit Lions, Tony was criticized for three drop passes with one leading to a pick six. This appears to be something mental because these are passes any wide receiver should be able to catch with ease. I mean, you're literally catching the football from arguably one of the greatest throwers of the game. Anyways, after the Lions game, we all recall what happened last week when Travis Kelsey's lateral TD pass to Kadarius Tony was overturned all because the receiver failed to line up behind the neutral zone. This was a costly mistake that ultimately handed the Buffalo Bills the win. On top of that, Kadarius dropped another easy pass that game that even a 10-year-old could catch. That being said, watching Mahomes' reaction on the bench after throwing his second pick of the game, you could tell that he's completely done with Kadarius Tony. I mean, just read the body language, and I'm pretty sure lip-reading experts are going to break down what he's actually saying to himself. This is just pretty sad to watch Mahomes struggle with his receiving core and kind of makes you think what would have happened if they decided to keep Tyreek Hill and pay him his money. This group of receivers this season is one of the main reasons why the Chiefs have struggled so hard this season to the point where they had to trade for and bring back McCall Hardman Jr. But still, much hasn't improved and on top of that, while it's still early to say, it does somewhat appear that maybe Travis Kelsey's body is slowly taking a little longer to recover in between games. Anyways, Kansas City now sits atop the AFC West with a 9-5 record and have a pretty easy remaining schedule when they take on the Raiders, Bengals and Chargers in the last three games of the season.